What's going on, everybody? Skittle Kicks here, and I am back with another edition of Euro Truck Simulator 2. We are hauling some milk up to Dusseldorf from Reims. So let's get on the road. Bought a new tanker truck, actually, and it's pretty cool. Uh, just got done painting it, and uh, yeah, so I've got a few trailers now. And uh, just slowly building up my fleet. Um, so, unfortunately, it's raining, so, you know... That's all right. I don't mind the rain. I do like the ambient sound, to be honest. So I don't know if it'll rain all the way to Germany or Get what it will do. Right. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you all are having a good week. Um, right. It's about not too bad for me. Uh, just a little tired uh, right now because I didn't get a whole lot of good sleep last night. But, uh, you know. Oh, there goes the rain. There we go. All right. So yeah, I didn't sleep very well at all. And uh, of course that gets me a little bit cranky, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. But hey, I came here to entertain you all and I will. And you'll enjoy my derpiness, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, um, if you haven't noticed, I did actually decide against using DAF as my main primary um, uh, trucking source. Uh, the reason why I changed it was mainly because I found that the Mercedes-Benz that I'm driving right now is, is a lot better. I don't know why I like it so much more, but yeah, I, I enjoy it thoroughly. And uh, so I decided, okay, let's, let's use this one now from, from now on. So going forward, it's going to be all of the uh, of these particular trucks. Uh, I don't get to add the striping to this particular vehicle because it's not really an option that looked good in the, uh, in the skins. Uh, maybe someday I'll actually have a custom skin for this truck like I will for ATS, but uh, that remains to be seen. You know, maybe I'm just going to look at it like, hey, you know, I'm a small company, so I'm not going to spend a ton of money right now on paint schemes. So we'll see. But uh, anyway, so yeah, there goes my DAF truck. <laughs> no, uh, I, I don't mind DAF trucks, and you know, they're really nice. But uh, the Mercedes is just, you know, it's a beautiful truck. You know, I really like how this truck looks. And uh, I'll take some uh, exterior shots uh, in a moment here when, uh, when we uh, get on more of a straight road so I don't uh, derp and end up somewhere I don't want it to end up. So, you know. But I have been very much enjoying Euro Truck Simulator. I'm still getting very used to driving on the left side of the road through Great Britain, which is why I haven't done a ton of videos through that area yet, because it very much messes with my mind. Um, I don't know why it does, but yeah, it really messes with me, especially when it came to crossing over the, you know, the, uh, the channel from France getting into Great Britain for the first time. I'm like, where do I go? How do I get to this thing? So, but yeah, it was, it was still pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, we're hauling some uh, milk products, or actually some milk, in my tanker truck. And um, what I like about it is that both ATS and ETS uh, bases your cargo on what you're actually having for a trailer. So that's really nice that it's automatically, you don't have to sift through a bunch of stuff. You actually can hand select what you want. I got to stop going too slow for this guy. Let's speed up a little bit here. 65, go to 80. There we go. He got a little annoyed by me because I was going too slow. Now this could be all through the mountainous areas, but uh, let's uh, change camera views. Got my favorite one, tire cam. We can do this one too. Oop. Yeah, don't do that around the corner, folks. <laughs> you could wreck your truck. Looks like lots of traffic here. I think I have enough gas to get to where I'm going, or excuse me, petrol to get to where I'm going. But you know, I may actually just, pl oh, it's a three quarter tank. Yeah, I probably can make it. Of course I say that <laughs> and then I'll run out of gas, you know, cause that will always happen to me. I'll misjudge, if you will, on my fuel consumption. Oh, but I'm so, t you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna get me some gas. So, in talking with my brother, uh, he's going to be picking up 
uh, construction simulator uh, pretty soon here. Uh, I tell him to get the extended edition so he can get the car. So instead of free driving with the trucks, like the heavy equipment, you can free drive with those cars, or the, with the car you get, and it's a lot, it's a lot faster to open the map up. So, uh, because of that, I believe it is cross-platform. So he wants to obviously uh, game with me. So that will be a new thing. I don't know right. when it'll and happen, right. but uh, I also want to get that version of the game too. It's in my Steam wish list. Uh, but I might go to CD Keys to get it. Exit. I don't know right. because CD Keys is a little more inexpensive. And then you just add the key to Steam and you download from Steam. So, and it's all legit copies of the game or all legit keys. So that will be great. So that'll be uh, that'll probably be coming over the next uh, month or so. I'm not really sure. We have he and I haven't really discussed a whole lot about when this is going to happen, but uh, uh, I am looking forward to it though because I I have wanted to play that game for a while. And yes, I'm aware that I've got to play the first mission to at least unlock the map, and that's fine because then I can learn the mechanics of the game and and struggle and fail and all that stuff. So. I'll probably record my first time playing it um, because I'm sure everybody's going to want to watch me derp really bad and, you know, poke fun and whatever, but that's fine. That's fine. I can take it. I've got a thick Skittle skin. <laughs> anyway, but yeah. It'll be a lot of fun, though, folks. Um, I don't know entirely when this video is going to release, so it's possible that the Dazzle Nation podcast will be on break at that point, because we have two episodes left at the time of this recording. So, I don't know if it'll be already past, question mark? So, yeah. Okay, something's going on with these cars and trucks here, and I don't know what's the deal. Keep left, and then continue straight on. Yeah, that's why. It's gonna split here to Liege, and then, uh, or, yeah, Go straight on. Liege. I need to be in this lane. I knew I had to be in this lane. I don't know why that, that Vinci truck slowed down, but whatever. And, uh, I'm loving this fog. Now, I am using the Skybox and the Night Sky stuff, uh, again, for this particular, uh, installation. The reason why is because it does look better than the vanilla. Um, the only thing about it is I don't Keep believe left, it works. And then continue straight on. I don't believe it works for Convoy. Now, the creator says it does, Go but straight on. both Daz and I had issues where it was just, it was just saying mismatched. Um, so we assume that it was updated and that it did break it, but I don't know. I'm going to get over a lane here just because... So yeah, Construction Simulator hopefully will be coming soon once I get the game and uh, start playing it. And uh, yeah, I'm God, I love these games. I love these simulation games. I think I have more fun with these than I ever did with LSPDFR. Because one of these games don't crash. Um, you know, so it's nice. And, you know, SCS has always been more open-minded to the community of modders than Rockstar ever wanted. Rockstar never wanted their game tainted with, so, you know, I gotta get over it, looks like, because Dusseldorf is in this lane over here, and Luxembourg is over there, so. Go straight on. Yep. Glad I did that when I did. Let's go ahead and get cruise control back. There we go. I love the chase cam. It's pretty cool.
Looks like I gotta get over the next one right here. Yeah, it's this uh, next exit. Not this one, I don't think. Or is it this one? Keep right and then exit right. Nope, it is this one. Exit right. Ready to turn left. Gotta work my way slowly around this so I don't wipe it out. Turn left. There we go. Nice. Getting a little better. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm terrible at driving this with the controller. That's funny, Dazzle keeps telling me I should get an Xbox, or uh, a uh, PlayStation controller. And I would have, and that's what I was looking at originally because I liked how those controllers felt. But the problem is that um, they're not native to Windows. So you have to do a little more work around, in my view, to get them to work right. And I am going too fast for this area. Go straight on. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Literally, my brakes were pressed all the way down. Wow. Brake sensitivity. That might be, that might be real-time air brakes, too, or realistic air brakes. I was trying to slow down, folks. I didn't realize that was an intersection that was going to break my neck, but hey. <sighs> Wouldn't be skill kicks plays if we didn't wreck on a whole new level. I'm just saying. Dusseldorf discovered. And our drop off is coming up around this corner here. Let's go ahead and uh, slow down a little bit more. Because I think it's going to go down to at least 30 down in this area. Yeah, like down by that light, or down by that intersection. It's probably going to slow down. Get ready to turn left. All right. Turn left. There. Get ready to turn right. And there we go. Turn right. This is where it ends. Finally, we are here. I have to go make a repair to my truck. <laughs> E-brake, my brakes, shut the engine off, shut the lights off, go ahead and enter. Okay, excellent. 399 kilometers, 6 hours and 27 minutes, 196.5 liters of petrol, and made $22,596. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and uh, subscribe. And set the bell notification to all so you can be notified when another video comes out. Uh, also, comment below because that really helps me engage with you. Um, make sure you like and share the videos and tell everybody about Skittlekicks Plays that you know and 
they may want to enjoy this content too. All right. See you all next time. Bye for now.